Welcome back to 7 News this Sunday morning. On the menu, we have uh, actually, this is, what is it, red lentil salad. Red lentil salad. And we have uh, Chef Cindy McKnight with Cook Street School of Culinary Arts here once again. Good to see you as always. Me too. Okay, so we're doing the Indian food theme this morning. We are. We are. So one of the main things about Indian food, when you look at recipes, they're a little daunting. They have this long list of ingredients. Most of them are spices. Mm -hmm. Easy to do. So what I've got in here is just some cumin, some black mustard seed, a mix of, it's called garam masala. Okay. You can buy these in some stores, but typically you can also make your own. If you look on the uh, website, on your website with the recipe that we gave, I gave you a recipe for garam masala. Okay. It's a really great thing. Was, I was just smelling that earlier. It smells oh, a little it smells bit so good. like curry, too. It just does. A little bit, yeah. It smells so good. And the nice thing about it is any time that you do any kind of dried spice like that, it's always nice to toast it up. Just get them nice and hot. Okay. So that it brings out the essential oils and you get all that really great flavor from wow, them. It smells so the so lentils good. go in, just some peppers, carrots, okay, and some onions. A little bit of radish just oh, to give oh, it some I nice it flavor. Onions. Okay. Cilantro and some mint. That is it. So the red lentils, you just cook those off, follow the directions on the package. You can get lentils at most grocery stores. These are not hard to find ingredients. These are all pretty easy to find. It's healthy. Oh, super healthy. I had minimal oil in the pan, and that's all I'm going to do is just that. You serve this on top of a bed of lettuce. Okay. And you can just garnish with a little bit of toasted almonds, chop some up, throw that on there, and now you have a really great dinner or side dish, you know. No salt or anything like you that? You can put salt and pepper okay. in there, but that spice has so much in it, and Flavor. I actually threw a little in there when I made uh, my spice blend. <laughs> Just to give me a little bit of extra. And if you want a little heat, you know, pepper in there, mm -hmm. chop up a little chili pepper and throw that in there. Just add give it you in a nice there. little heat. So it's really simple, and that's the beauty of Indian food. It's very, very healthy. It's very simple, quick and easy to do. Don't be intimidated by the list of ingredients. It's mostly just spices. So, I, but I love that, though, and that's one of the oh, yeah. classes that you guys offer. Absolutely. And, you know, it, it, we've been talking about, like, there are classes for wine pairing. It's not just for chefs, professional chefs, it's, yes. but for regular folks like us yes. and then you do a lot with seasoning and you can we do and it. you know that's the beauty of some of the classes that we have at Cook Street is that they are geared our nighttime classes are geared towards the home chef to give you some idea of you know what else is out there you know sometimes when you're at home you kind of get stuck in a rut well you know how to do seven or eight dishes right and sometimes when you pull out a cookbook it's a little intimidating you're not quite sure what to do come on down to Cook Street we can help you out there wide range of classes that we have we make it really easy you go home with recipes you go home with all the tips and hints and everything that we do and you recreate everything we do in class right in your own kitchen I love it okay for the recipe go to our website the denverchannel.com click on food what do we have coming up at 9 30. we're going to do a uh, mango and shrimp with a little bit of basil perfect there you go, Maureen. That's what you have to look forward to. I always get the best recipes. I know they're always good, but usually that third one. I know. It's <laughs> usually dessert, so this one's kind of... Yeah, I did it backwards just for Yeah, you. dessert was first for me today, just so you know. The mango smoothie, do you remember that? I did notice that. I meant to make a comment about just it. Just thought I'd rub it in a little bit, okay? <laughs>